Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this quick hitch off. So uh, we've got the uh, cherry picker. We were going to use the bobcat, but uh, it's too cold out the bobcat to start. So we're going to take our top pin out first here. And our top pin. And I've already got the four bolts out that hold the uh, bottom pins in upon the arms. Now we did drop the uh, three point hitch down part way just so it wasn't so high in the air. Now be careful because these quick hitches are rather heavy, these big ones. cylinders so before you get started taking any of the lines off anything uh, get some jack stands throw underneath the three-point hitch arms because when you do loosen the lines you're gonna let hydraulic pressure out of the rock shaft so uh, the three-point hitch could drop so uh, just for safety also you should have jack stands under there anyways okay so how we're gonna do this is is we're going to leave the pin in the top of the arm up here. I'm going to take this nut off, I'm going to pull this bolt out, I'm going to flip this tube out, I'm going to pull it down off the ram, change the seal in the ram, change the seal in the end of the tube, shove it back together, swing it back in, put the bolt back in. So I need to get this hose off, so in order to let the oil out so there's no suction or anything, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the third link off out of the way. Um, just so I can get in here easily. I mean, you don't have to, you could hold it up, but there's no hanger to hold it up. So I thought, well, I'll just pop the pin out. That's easy enough and throw it on the floor and get it out of the way. So dad's strength's gathering up some tools for me and uh, we'll get this all taken, taken apart. All right, we'll get this third link out of the way. Well, now that we got our cotter pin out of that nut, which that was a bear to get out, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, loosen it up. Now these lift assist cylinders can be found on other tractors too, not just these uh, articulated. They, uh, the front wheel assists have them. Um, well, I guess any of the big tractors have them. Those bolts are tapered, aren't they, where they go in the cast? So now, I've got that off. I'll go ahead and finish taking our line off here. We do have a drain pan. You want a drain pan. I guess I should have said that in the beginning of the video that these lift assist cylinders are on other tractors. I guess I don't I don't think sometimes when I go to make videos. Oh. It can be messy. Good thing tractor is going to need to be pressure washed again. Oop, that was good on the chrome. Dump the oil out in the drain pan. 
And then we'll go clean these up in a pressure washer. Sure, the seals. Or parts washer, pressure washer. Yeah, them seals were uh, trash. So we got the seal there. And there is no seal on the ram, that's right. It's chrome. There's just the seals inside the barrel of the uh, assist cylinder. And the, uh, the ram itself is just tapered on the end. As you can see right there. So we'll clean all this up and uh, get the other side apart and we'll reseal them and get them put back in. <clears throat> well, while Dad strings over washing that first one up that we got off, we'll go ahead and we'll take the second one off at a different camera angle. Let me get a little light on the subject here. Uh, that's a little better. That's better. Okay, so I've already got my nut loose. I've got my line off. So I noticed in the, the last video that I didn't really get a good camera angle on it. So I'll go ahead and get a better angle. Maybe I won't drop the ram this time and potentially nick the chrome off of it. It didn't hurt it. We checked it. from my mistakes. Hold that ram. There we go. Dump that one out. We'll have a look at our seal. Yep, seal's gone out of that one too. Okay. Dad's strength took it to the uh, parts washer. He'll clean it up. I'm going to get some of this stuff cleaned up and then we'll move on to resealing them. Well, Dad's strength's over here uh, scrubbing away on this got it looking pretty good uh we done a video on this carlisle tools napa parts washer back when we got it done a video of putting it together and stuff and uh some of you guys had asked for a follow-up video on this parts washer uh this thing has been wonderful it's been about a year now since we've got it yep. so we've used it for a year now and uh thing has been great to us i mean it's the shelf inside here is plenty strong we can put just about anything we want on top of it and uh or within reason of right. what you would think is reasonable i don't i don't think you'd set a whole hydraulic pump from a 200 excavator in on top of that shelf no, but, but uh, for cylinder tubes and stuff it works just fine so definitely was a great buy for the shop and it served us very well so we're gonna let that dry off and uh, head over to the bench and we'll uh, start putting seals in. Well, we've got one dry already, but for a little movie magic, we were just gonna talk about that one drying off for now. So uh, anyways, let's head over to the workbench and uh, get some seals changed out. Well, we're over at the workbench now. We've got it clamped in the vise. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the old seal material out. So we're gonna take seal puller. There's the old wiper seal. Now we're gonna get down here with just a 90 degree pick. And we're gonna get the old inner seal out, the actual oil seal here. Just dig it out of the groove. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's, it's coming out in pieces. It's junk, it's hard. So Dad Strength's actually got the other cylinder over at the uh, parts washer because we dug the seal out of it already and uh, it all crumbled up and it went down the tube so he's gonna wash it all up again and get it cleaned out so now he can take this one and uh, he can clean it up again and I'll get that one from him and we'll start the reassembly process okay so we're gonna go ahead and start putting our seals in this one goes like this with the flat smooth side up and the o-ring side down we're going to take our seal tool here put it on here and you don't have to have these tools but they they definitely help and hold your seal and see that seal tool actually makes that seal smaller 
So when you put it down in your bore, it's easier to get it in and you're not using a pick or anything and potentially scratching a seal up. So there we go. Seals down in the hole. Looks good. Gonna go ahead and uh, get a little dust there. Just a little shit I scratched off the side. Gonna go ahead and put our uh, wiper seal in here. Now this one does go like this. You would think it goes like this, but that's not how it works because it's got to push the dirt off of the ram as the ram goes down in. sure it's flush with the top of the tube and there we have it this one's ready to go back on the tractor so we're going to go ahead and reseal the second cylinder on camera two so i'm going to share with you the part numbers real quick of these seals this is your outside dust wiper and uh, this is your inside oil seal those two seals right there are what you're going to need to rebuild these lift assist cylinders and I believe these are the same part numbers as the 8640 also. And uh, I went out and looked at the 4640, and they look identical too. So I'm sure that these seals are the same in uh, several of the tractors. Now the 4955, the lift assist cylinders look a hair different on it. Uh, instead of being like cast, they look like they're a steel cylinder, so it's probably at different seals. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, get our seal tool here. Now this is the most confusing part sometimes, is remembering how this seal tool goes on. Yeah, there you got it right the first time. Yep, just like that. Pull that around. Oh, it popped off. It's, it's a little bit tricky sometimes, but it works really good. Now I actually have several sizes of these seal tools. Get stirred down in there. Oh, it popped off, but that's okay. It got us in there. There we go. It's in there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we'll install our seal. I got these seal tools off Amazon. You can buy a whole set of them. And then these uh, seal drivers are just a nice set that I come up with from Harbor Freight. They work pretty good. get some white grease and put on the seals and uh, we'll take them and put them back on the tractor so basically white grease just some white lithium grease this will disappear in the oil it'll be no big deal we're just gonna get it down in there So when that cylinder passes through, it's not going through dry. Okay, I'll do that on the other cylinder, and then uh, we'll go put them on the tractor. Well, we're back at the tractor now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these cylinders put on. Some resistance there now. The way it should be. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one on. 
to do the other one. Get our nuts tightened back up. Get our uh, hydraulic lines put back on, tightened up. And we got to get our counter pins all put back in our nuts. And then uh, we'll do some work to the quick hitch and uh, get it put back on. Well, there we go. Everything's back on. Lines are tightened up. The uh, nuts are put back on. We got our cotter pins put back in, bent over, so the uh, lift assist cylinders are finished. Uh, the only thing left to do is to put the quick hitch back on, but uh, we're going to do that later uh, because we're going to work on it. We have a spare one out in the building that we're going to take parts off of. It's actually a parts quick hitch, and uh, we'll get to cover for it off of that one. But the problem is it's buried in the building right now and we can't get the bobcat started because it's a little too cold out to uh, go dig it out. So uh, we'll just, we'll fix that quick hitch and do maybe a video on that later. But I'm sure everybody understands how to take it on and off. So uh, anyways, the main, the main subject of this video was the lift assist cylinders and we have fulfilled uh, getting good video on them. So... I want to keep this a short video today. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, we will see you all in the next one.